Now let's see what is SAS or how to use SCSS in a Next.js app because that's a modern stack. We don't use CSS anymore. We use SCSS. So why don't we combine this with Next.js and see how it can happen or how it can work. So first of all, we have to install it using npm, npm iss. So this is not software as a service. It is, what is it? Let me search on Google. Okay, where is the cursor? Where is the cursor? Here. How SASS in CSS? It is syntactically awesome style sheets, which is an extension to CSS with superpowers. I mean, some extra things. So now let me do this. Okay, we don't need this. We will need this module load CSS file. So as you see that the color is blue and we have this styling here of color blue. Yes. So let's say in a case that we have Figma design and it is using some color like this. So let me make a variable called color, not color, say variables file variable with s dot css in here let's say you want to define some color or some font sizes from figma design that we can use later also so we cannot define it again and again and again and keep defining it every time we use it it's not proper so what we can do is define a variable so let's say we have a red color so we can define red as red but this will not work in plain css because it's not supported instead we can use scss here and it will be working like this now the thing is we have to import these variables in this home.pundle.css so we can use at the rate import command and use variables here so you will see that this also is not supported because it's css we have to rename this to scss and in the main file as well here now save and it will support it will work now you will see that we have defined a variable using dollar which is red so we can replace dollar red here to make the heading as red and it will work like this so let me also define one more variable called let's say heading the name of the variable and in here we can say 40 pixels so heading is a variable with the value of 40 px so we can also use this here so say font size and this which is heading so you will use dollar heading and the font size will increase maybe we have to make it 140 and see what happens see this is what happens hello world it's screaming this is how we can use SCSS for SAS in the Next.js app.